ask me again if we're not going to be able to have anything to talk about for the next two weeks to a month. Please, okay, please. It's kind of annoying to me. What are you guys going to talk about? There's no games. <laughs> Lots of Jason in Red Deer writes in. He says, it's actually amazing all the rules and politics and stuff that some of us fans have no idea about. Uh, yeah. What you see is the little top of the iceberg above the water. There's a whole lot underneath that you don't see. And that's some of the things that we're going to be talking about. And I know we got to get to a break here right away. But I have a feeling that as soon as 3downnation.com picks up on this, or maybe the Twitter feed at CFL News... This is going to be the news throughout the weekend of Canadian in Canada for pro football. What yeah. Brandon Bridge just said. Yeah, I mean, it. I wondered. I was always skeptical when the announcement came out. This isn't the end of his football career in his mind. I had a pretty good idea that it would be. You but. know, um, sounds like it might be, but there's still a window that something's going to happen and a team's going to come calling and say, "Look at, we've got some money, and we need you." In, injuries happen all over the place and a team's going to be contending and they're going to deal with it. And if it's big enough and a bad enough injury and they're not getting the results from number two, Brandon bridge might get a call. I thought two years ago when he went in for the rough riders, he played pretty well last year. No, but two years ago, I thought he played very well. Well, when I say tip of the iceberg, what he just said is scratching the surface of what he would say about playing for the Saskatchewan rough riders. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd rather have him in here for that discussion. That'd be cool. Because yeah. that might take an hour or two. Yeah. Maybe that'll be bring, during part of our Grey Cup coverage, uh, right? And we'll have the players. <sighs> and my mind's racing right now. That's not a good thing for anybody. So while that happens, Lynch, tell me what you took of that interview uh, with Brandon. What did you take out of it? Oh, I was very impressed. I think he meant it sincerely. Uh, he really wants to be a policeman. I think he really believes in it. He's a really a nice guy, you know. Uh, he is a class act, and uh, he just felt there was no place for the Canadian quarterback in the CFL. And we've kicked this around, you guys, many times, and uh, I don't think there is either. You guys? Well, a very good start would be making a Canadian quarterback count to the starting ratio. And I, right. somebody please tell me, and you will if I'm wrong, but I've gone through this CBA several times. I don't see anywhere in there that they've changed the status of a, of a quarterback for Canadian or American to count towards the ratio. I never saw that anywhere. They haven't. They haven't changed. They well, haven't. that would be a good start, wouldn't it? It certainly would. They don't want to do it. Who's kidding who? They, they don't obviously do don't want to do it. So, You're right. So Brandon Bridge just dropped a huge boom bomb guts. on the CFL. The CFL doesn't want Canadian quarterbacks. The guy Hello? had the guts to do it. He had the guts to do it. Exactly. Well, he doesn't have to worry anymore. He's not under their thumb anymore. I know the feeling. Mm -hmm. And for him to say there's a lot of things about pro football that I don't like, I totally get it. Yep. Where he's coming from. And I thought last two years ago, he played pretty well. All he needed was a real chance. Things didn't work out too well for him last year. Just one of those things. But a lot of quarterbacks go year to year where things don't work out too well. And the next year it works out well. Next year, the third year it doesn't. So I don't know. Uh, I like the kid. He's a nice guy. I think he could. Play quarterback in the CFL. What do you think, Darren? I mean, we've seen it. We've seen that he has the ability to play. We don't know yet if he has the ability to be a starter. Um, that's where the challenges come in with Brandon Bridge a little bit, is that it just didn't adjust to being a starter. But off the bench, I mean, I loved, and, and I've said this a thousand times, and I sound like a broken record, but I loved the combination the writers had with Kevin Glenn and Brandon Bridge. It was I thought, great. I thought Kevin was great. He, he, he's that guy who can lead. He brings confidence to his teammates, so they're ready to play. And then when things aren't going quite well, you got this energetic, very athletic uh, Brandon Bridge who comes off the bench and can give everybody that shot in the arm and and uh, create some excitement, throw the ball down the field. He can run with his legs and spark you. And the players would build up to that. But as a starter, it just didn't work. But in that number two role, he was very, very good. Well, I don't think Brandon would be upset if I said this. The, the reason I asked him about, are you happy with the mark you left in the CFL? Because you're going to be hearing his name for years, right? Yep. Highest Canadian quarterback drafted. Um, as I said, last Canadian to start. Yeah. But he never reached his full potential. That's right. And I believe even he would tell you that. Right. And he knows that. But when he's got an opportunity to jump with a great opportunity with the Toronto police, he's going to take it. He certainly doesn't sound like he regrets it. Nope. Right. And I, I will honestly say, if anybody asks me, I think he could play quarterback in the CFL today. 
Now uh, he believes that too. Yeah. We'll continue this and more when we come back. We just got things sizzling. You can write us, too, on the Prairie Mobile text line. We've got comments on toilet paper, Darren, by the way, that directed at you. I'll read those. You can write us on the Prairie Mobile text line, 306-840-8777. Prairie Mobile, they are your authorized SAS Tom Ability dealer. We'll be right back. It's a football Friday on the Rod Peterson Show. Facebook Live, coming soon to Game Plus Network. And listen live at rodpeterson.com. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.